and welcome back to this exciting journey of Jarek and Tahir. We're going to Pilgrim's Hat to tell Lord Kort of the news of the zombies. Let's go there right now. After that we have to go to uh, the door thing that we couldn't go through last time. Now we can. We advanced the plot. Oh yes, we did. And Lord Court is up here. Eventually. And a running button. Go faster. Jarek, it is good to see you alive in such dangerous times. I see you reach Dagon, yet I wonder at a Dagani so far from home. Lord Kor, this is Tahir, my trusted friend and companion on my quest. The old friend of Jarek, you'll welcome you, Tahir. But what brings you this way? You have much work ahead of you, Jarek. Have you found any clues to the rising of the undead? We have searched the graveyard and found strange scratches and burn marks on the crypts. We must be on our way to Kamar. But I'm sure we will pass through here again. If fortune favor us, we will stop to see you, see how you fare. Alright, there you go. Tahir didn't even need to say anything at all, even though he was addressed. Oh well. Look at this little... There's nothing on that sign there. Do they have cactus potions? I'm sure. They should have, uh... Hold up with us. Oh, yep, they do. Cactus potion, cactus potion, cactus. So, let's sell some stuff. What we got here? Uh, four, thirty-two. You know what I'm going to do? Hmm. Potion wearable. Um, what colors? I just don't need that. Piece of crap. It's from magic. Sturdy shield. What is that? Four. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a uh, years old um, shield. Trojan hammer never like that anyway. All right, yeah, anything for sale? More cactus potions? Yeah. All right. And what does this do? Oh, you just have weapons. <laughs> we don't need weapons. We have the juggernaut. to the door. Dorm holes door. Where the hell it is? To say it in the quest here. No, it doesn't. And this was way before uh, the little arrows that point you which way to go. Which I don't know what game introduced that, but it's all over in Oblivion and the other Elder Scrolls games. Let's go to the door. I don't know if there's a sh these people up here to Oh yeah, I saved them from the zombies. That's right. Now where's the door? Where's the door? This goes to Whitewater Gorge, right? Yeah, we don't want to go. I know there's a message we have to deliver in Whitewater Gorge, but 
I want to go all the way down there right now. I want to huh. advance the story. I don't know if we're going to be able to teleport later. We need another Sorogen coin or have a Sorogen join us in our party. Maybe we can transform into a Sorogen later. I don't know. So we know where we just came from. What's this here? Ah. Lots of zombies. Get over there, Jared. Get over. Get over there. Draw aggro. Good job. Jam action on what we did. And change the crush. As an effect of will. And two zombies. And three zombies. He didn't. You know you're going the right way when there's enemies coming up. That's always a thing in games. Holograms. I suppose this way is to the door. I don't know if we want to go all the way back to Holograms. The dreary, crappy place. Dram Dramars. I oh, see it right. Dr yeah, Dramars. Door and Karen. Karen. What if we were ever seen those characters we saw in the beginning of the game, like that girl he was talking to? What was her name? I don't remember. But she was some kind of. You no, know, her sister was a warrior, wasn't it? And there's the free. We're always reminded of her every time it's dark and that little thing pops up that she taught us how to do, even though we don't remember her ever talking to us about it. God, we have urgent business in Kamar. Very well, I will open this gates. If you need to call for me when you return, my name is Maldor. Thanks, Maldor. Hope I remember your name. Maldor. What is this? Yes, it's a building I can't enter. How did I know? Okay, we got a little window there so we can see us. And oh, it's the foundation of a building or something. Or it looks like one of those, uh, <laughs> one of those things for, uh, putt putt golf. This is a trap for some animal. The Kamar are cunning warriors. I would not like to meet the animals it's designed for. It looks a, looks a strong trap. Let's go in. Oh, wait. Is this like a bear trap? The whole thing moves and traps them? Or... I don't know, but I bet we're going to have to fight whatever they're trying to trap. There. Oh, there's a person. Hopefully it's a person we can talk to and not have to brutally murder. Oh, it's not really murder if it's in self-defense, is it? I'm not a lawyer. Sun was tears and Or and Dagani together. It is just a, the dream I predicted. You saw us in a dream? Are you a wise woman who sees visions in the weird? I am Vivian. Come to me in my dream. In the dream, Viviana. Wait, wait, I am Viviana. Came to me in the dream. Viviana was a wind singer of ages past who had an, an intricately carved ball of ivory called Viviana's amulet. The amulet contained great power. One day she found she was forced to battle another wind singer over possession of it. In the battle the amulet was shattered into thirty shards. Oh we have to go find that. It's like that, that shard in, in Yasha. Hmm. These shards were strewn from one end of the Kamaran Highlands to the other. They have never been recovered. Viviana's spirit feels you are the two who might do so. For she told me to come here and await you. It is not for me to question her will. Find the thirty shards and Viviana's amulet will become whole again. Its powers will be yours to be used for the cause of good. How do you know we won't use it for evil? How do you know? Find the shards of the Shishinko. Is that a Shishinko jewel? Whatever. And we have another fetch quest. Yes, yeah, the. wrong, Jerry. You look like a man who has seen his own death. I had a vision. It seared my mind with the same pain as the sigil burns into my hand. There, lad, calm down. What did you see? I just remembered the very morning in which I was 
branded with the sigil and sent to Dagon. I had awoken from a nightmare. This... His vision is much like it. This is vision. This is vision is much like this vision. That is what I mean. Is there? I saw a dark place filled with a monstrous being whose raw hatred of life is a force of evil. I could not truly make him out. To here, I just realized the voice of the ethereal in the nightmare is the same as the one who spoke to us at Whiptail's tomb. He's connected to this monstrous being. If all, if all these ethereals serve the Dark Master, we will have tough work ahead of us. Let us let it be for now, Jerick. We will learn more in time. It was like I was going to say, that woman was put here on this earth and put here at this very location to wait for us from an ethereal being and to deliver upon us. A frickin' fetch quest! 30 more shards, thank you. I haven't gotten all the stupid acorns yet. I don't even know what those are gonna do. What else is it? The journals and the scrolls and... I have to think, work, worry about shards. Erosion. A curse on you skurglings out! Get out of my crops! Oh, skurglings? We haven't fought those in so long. Are you really gonna make me fight skurglings? You there! You be the one! They said to watch for you. They said the one who walks. He will get rid of the Skirling's nest for you. Uh, do you speak to me? Well, who else? Zanra said you would be in Orin. Jamar said you would be young. Turok said you were, you know, the Dagani. Your Whiptail said you would be brand new with a sigil. He is mad, Jer. We must have eaten a bad grain and is raving. He must be mad. To grow crops here where he can be raided by war parties at any time and beyond the safety of the Kamar Gate? I... Mad De Neorgan. Neorgan? That'd be what they called me. But you mind what the ghosts of the four heroes told me? The one who walks, they said. Can I walk? I'm young, I have a Dagani friend, yes, I'm going to help you with your crops. Gotta make sure those darn skirklings stay out of my corn! Get out of my corn, you damn skirklings! You know what, do they, do the four ghosts, three, whatever, they say anything about freaking up your corn, huh? Just walk right through your crops, eat it. Yeah. What are you gonna do? You're not gonna do anything. Cause I'm the walker. The walking one. Yeah. The walking one has spoken! What the shards look like? Oh look, another door. Ooh. The war parties? There's nothing here. It's, it's a hallway! Between two doors. That's what it is. The hallway. And there's two people living here. Mooncaw God. Halt! What is the nature of your business? What have you there? It is a sphere of summoning. You wish to consult a wind singer. And so it is! In your hands of an aura, no less! Very well, I cannot believe you would have such a thing unless you have a noble soul. Proceed straight ahead. Keep watch to the right, and there you will find a statue of a wind singer. Place the sphere within the statue's hands, and the wind singer will be summoned. Do you have a choice of which one, or just in general? What is the nature of... Oh, it's going to do the same thing again? That's good. And I'm going to press it again? Oh, it's a woman. I guess all the moon claws are women? I don't know. Is that what that girl's sister was? A moon claw? Maybe I'll meet her here. It'll be kind of like a callback. I have no control over the camera now. Wilderness, okay. Now I'm gonna save here. Continue on a bit. I think probably I got that phone call in the middle of the LP and I kinda lost track of time. Might 
have taken two minutes, so it should be time to stop right now because it's at 17. Uh, I guess I'll stop. Okay. When we come back, we'll look at the Moonclaw Camp, which is right down there. Oh, that's where this Windsinger is. Okay, we're going to talk to the Windsinger when we come back. Stay tuned!